My name is Abby Stilianu. I'm an assistant professor of computer science at St. Louis University. FaceApp is an application for smartphone devices that takes a picture that a user uploads and transforms it in different ways. So they can put glasses on your face, or they can make you look older, and they can make you look younger. And so now you have people uploading their pictures and saying, hey, make me look like I'm an old person now. And they're really cool. These are these really compelling, believable visualizations. We're in a time now with machine learning where these pictures, they don't look wrong. They, they kind of, they look right. They look compelling and interesting. And people want to share them on their Facebook page. Here's what I'm going to look like when I'm 60 years old. And the concern with that now is that when you upload these things, you're making an agreement that the person who developed this application has access to the photos that you're uploading to do whatever they want with it. They can use that to train these sorts of systems and make them better, and maybe we're okay with that. But there's concern that perhaps the people that are using this won't use it for just good purposes. They could also use it for nefarious purposes. FaceApp itself was developed by a company and a software developer in Russia. And when it initially sort of hit the presses that this was a Russian developed application, there was concern. So FaceApp had a terms and conditions that they could use your imagery into perpetuity for whatever purposes they want. And people were shocked by this, that how that seems just insane. They're signing the exact same agreement when they create a Facebook profile. And we make the same agreements, and because that's, you know, Silicon Valley and not a Russian developer, people are maybe a little more comfortable with it, and I think the tide on that is starting to change a little. People are starting to recognize, oh no, I'm not comfortable with not knowing how my data is being used, and so maybe people are starting to be more careful. But I think that's something people really should be aware of, especially if you're not paying for a service. Your data is the way that a lot of these companies are making money and that's how they're going to extend their services.